18 year old Rittenhouse was allowed by Judge Bruce Schroeder to choose the final 12 jurors to deliberate his case. Rittenhouse's attorneys put slips of paper in a raffle drum and Kyle pulled the pieces of paper out from the drum to determine the final jury. Um, Supposedly this judge does this for people that are facing over 20 years in prison. Everything that's weird and odd to us that we're like, wait a minute, what? They're like, oh, he usually does this. But what do y'all think about this, the paper thing? And also how close, like the proximity this judge has been. Like you would never do that around a, a, a murder suspect. He's showing the jury that he's not a threat, I think. What do y'all think about this? I um, honestly wish the level of compassion that this judge has for Kyle that all human beings have for all of humanity. Um, that, that That's the only way I can frame this to not get upset. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because this is just very upsetting down to everything about this judge's energy reeks of I support Kyle Rittenhouse and why he was there. I'm not down with BLM. I'm down with Donald Trump. Um, and, 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 and Kyle is a hero and he probably should have stormed the Capitol. Like this judge is giving mm-hmm. me all mm-hmm. of that. Yeah. Al? You know what? I, I agree with you, Q. This lets you know why Donald Trump was elected president. This is a prime example of the individuals that support not only him, but the narrative that he has around African-Americans or just around the Black Lives Movement in general. This is disgusting. This trial is a joke at this point. And I, I got to tell you, between the raffle box and the bad acting, I think they need to mistrial this whole thing and move it to a whole different jurisdiction. I just I need to see more sensible judges, more sensible attorneys handling this particular case right here. Now, earlier today, this is the best part. Now, earlier today, everybody, a couple of hours ago, we found out that two jury members are holding out and they are not going to acquit this young man because they're concerned about their lives. So I think we are probably going to get a mistrial anyway. Well, the, the, the judge wants a mistrial. Uh, there was some video that, that they, the defense, I'm sorry, the prosecution turned in kind of late. And uh-huh. it was a high definition version of the drone video that showed the drone video, that's Kyle right. was not pointing the gun down. He was actually pointing it at the man that he kills. And it makes it, and the jury asked to see that again. So the, the judge has signaled so many times that he threatened a mistrial. He's doing whatever he can do to get this guy off. And he's probably going to have his way. You know? you know what scares me about this case, too? I looked at the testimony of the third person that he shot, the guy that was that got Thank shot you. in the arm. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. And the narrative is Kyle was not bothering you. You chased behind him. Not until you drew your gun did he fire at you in self-defense. And I'm scared that they're going to take that small portion of the story and try to make it the entire story. The funny thing is, though, of all the, the all the violence and drama that was happening that night and Kyle went down there to protect a business that cars had already been removed. There was no need to protect that business. The only people that were shot that night were at the hands of Kyle Rittenhouse. Mm-hmm. Nobody else. So you, so you went down there. You look for trouble. You effed around and found out. Unfortunately, because of the judge and the luck of the draw, the unluck of the draw. He will be getting off. I'm pre- I'll be surprised. Yeah, if Claudia, dig that all the way down. He also shared that he was a paramedic. He was supposed to be there to yeah. help anybody was injured. But after he shot the people, he didn't help the people. <laughs> I'll do you one better if you really want to laugh. Uh, why do people say his fat ass made me 38? <laughs> she, oh, my God. I meant to post that. First of all, she aging like organic bananas looking extremely <laughs> old. <laughs> How is his mother 38? That's that evil coming at them pores. That's them, right. that's them damn new ports in that natty light, baby. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, what do y'all think about? We, we, we'll use, use these last couple of minutes to just talk about this. What do y'all think about the fact that it's on day two and the jury seems to be going through this frame by frame? Usually it's good news that the jury comes back quickly. So what do you think? Do you th- uh, uh, what do you think the verdict might be? I think... Um, I mean, this is this is America. Uh, I I definitely think there's going to be some hanky panky. Um, I definitely think that if it was if it was a slam dunk case, we would have had a verdict already. 
Um, I definitely think that that Kyle Wittenhouse has done a very good job. Listen, we are dealing with a lot of white lash. OK, white folks are still mad about Barack Obama being elected president. They are still mad about Black Lives Matter, so on and so forth. And it's the cognitive dissonance for me. I believe that there are people on that jury who, despite the evidence, just the hate alone will, will, will allow them to make this thing not go the way it needs to go so they can get something off the chest. I agree. And unfortunately, I have to admit, I kind of feel it's like almost payback for how we were when OJ Simpson got off. In yeah. the OJ jury, we were like, yeah, we know, but, mm. yeah. but, but, you know, this, <sighs> we're just going to keep mean, going I back and forth. The only saving grace for us is despite the fact that it was fueled by black hate. And I don't want, I, I don't mean this to sound the way it's going to sound. I'm just glad it wasn't us, the lives of people that look like, like us that were taken. So that, that, that's the only, if we have to find a silver lining in all of this, you know, we can dump it in a bucket called white people problems and let them handle it, you know? Yeah, it just always just always makes me think about the inequalities and how they would be doing an 18 year old black kid that had an assault oh, rifle. Right? There wouldn't even be a trial because he'd be in the ground right now. So 